Hi, I'm Zeyman. Hi, Hi, I'm Kamira. We're students from Flagey High School. This October, we went to the Oxfam Conference in Manchester. And this is what we've been doing. countries give money because it's their duty to help the people in need. Developing countries, it's not fair on them because they're still developing, they still have to um, make a living. Biggest motivation has been after attending the conference and seeing how climate change affects other people and just seeing that it is true. It's not just someone that people just keep saying. And you, you, people, you people are the locals of your country so you can um, you could persuade your government to give money. You could do. Um, you could raise awareness yeah, of what is the money for. Um, rich countries like you, you lot should pay because um, you lot are the ones that are causing the carbon emissions. Every human is supposed to care about everyone else, and um, just because we got it easy here, it doesn't mean everybody else has it easy. My biggest motivation has been hearing from Elvis Malawi, who has been a person telling his story on his experience. I care about climate change because. Uh, we are a part of it and we are the only people that can act on it. I've learned that countries like ours um, help in ruining other poor, poorer countries because we just pass our waste on. Um, I've learned that in, throughout the world there are effects of climate change. It's happening now, it's not going to happen in the future and we need to act on it now. I care about climate change because I think it's, it's basically just your morals. I think helping other people is just something that everyone should be doing, so I just think it's the right thing to do. I care about climate change because no one's paying attention, but now it's come so close and there's people who need us. It's not, ju it's not just affecting um, one person, it's actually affecting all of us, and that we can act on it and we can do something about it. I think every individual's opinion and idea can soon join together and make a big one and it'll soon make a difference. Well, um, in school, we've had a word with the head, and we're going to so we're going to organise a blue day in February, where there's going to be a non-uniform day, and basically the theme's just going to be blue, just as Com just as Oxfam did. We've also set up a small committee that discusses things that are going on around the world and how they can stop it. If we influence our world leaders, they can do things at a national level rather than just doing a little bit yourself and create a bigger awareness and we can do something together. People in power have a chance to impact on other people around the world. At the Copenhagen Summit, I want, I want there to be a fair deal. I don't want everyone having to give up too much, but then they should, things shouldn't just carry on the way they are because it's just not fair on everyone else. I want to make, sure, uh, make Gordon Brown agree that everybody, I want him to agree on all the terms, like to be fair and to act on climate change just like as we are going to act on climate change. I want Gordon Brown to agree because he's powerful and he can make everyone change the decision and act on this round. Well basically to sum it up, um, we want a fair and safe deal for everyone, where everyone benefits from it. Jack Straw, it's up to you as Justice Minister and Lord Chancellor to show that we, the UK, do care. Jack Straw, what is wrong with helping other people? Because together we can save lives. Hi Jack, act now, not just for Blackburn, but for the rest of the world. Act now to help the citizens of Blackburn and all the citizens of the world. A fair deal for a fair world is up to you. Thank you for watching.